two ways that you can access batch operations in manage mode. If you select all of your images and right click, you will see the batch menu displayed. And here is where you can select all of the batch operations that are available in manage mode. And then the second way to access the batch operations is on the menu right above. And you'll see it has the same options as the one that appears when you right click. So let's begin from top to bottom. And the first option we have is export. So let's say you've created right some edits and you just want to export all of them at the same time. Batch export will display this menu. You will have all these options and you can save your photos in the same folder as the source folder, but you can also create a subfolder and you can type the name of the subfolder if you'd like. So you could type, for example, exports one or something like that. You can also, of course, select a specific folder and you can, we will also look at how to batch rename on the batch rename tool. But in this option, you can also rename files. And one way that I really like to do it is to um, use, so if you use the hashtag, this will transform into a number. So it'll be export one, export two, export three, export four. You can also change the file format. We have all of our raw images selected and we might just want to export all of them as JPEGs. We will leave the pixel format and color space automatic. And you can also resize your images. So if you have a specific size in mind, you can select the resize resampling method which we won't cover right now, but Langsos is the one that has the most, uh, the most amount of sharpness in your image. So it's a good one to have as default. If you go to the user manual, you will see definitions for all of them. So that can be really helpful depending on what type of resizing you want to do. And you can select the output size either by dimensions, width and height, uh, or a percentage. Um, so if you just say, you're like, okay, these images are way too big. I don't really know what size I need them to be specifically. Like if you don't know specifically, then percentage is always really good because if they're huge, you can just type 30% and then that and have the preserve original aspect ratio clicked. And that way you will uh, reduce your image uh, size quite a bit. And that might be all you need to do. Then you have the metadata options to preserve metadata or don't preserve metadata. Uh, you can also select if you want the last modified date. And then finally, we have some develop and some editing options on the batch export function. So you can apply all of these presets that we will take a look at in just a second. And you can also apply ACDC actions, which belong more to the edit mode of ACDC. But we will also take a look at those very soon.